Hello Internet! In my previous video I talked about the phase sequence of brushless motors and it had a 1 minute time limit for a challenge so I had to cut a few things to make it fit. Today I want to show you a few more things that didn't make the cut in the first round. First of all about magnets and magnetic poles. Brushless outrunners most commonly have 14 magnets which result in a 14 pole motor. Each magnet has two poles on its own, but that doesn't make it a 28 pole motor, because for motor construction only those poles count that point towards the air gap. More generally, the pole count is about the number of times the magnetic field changes direction in the air gap. Next, designing the winding sequence with a diagram like this is neat, but not always practical. Here's a more algorithmic way to do it. There are six possible slots for each pole pair, so you take the number of poles, divide by two to get the pole pairs, and uh, multiply by six to get the number of possible phase slots. For the 14 pole motor, this gives you 42 slots. If you have 12 coils, 42 divided by 12 is 3.5, so every three and a half uh, position is used by your coils. This is where the closest match comes into play, which you can do by rounding. The key here is that uh, when you iterate over your coils, you add up the positions with the fractional step and round the results afterwards. So for 12 coils, it looks like this. The algorithm gave us a shifted version of the sequence, but otherwise it's the same. If you were to use 16 poles, uh, the slot in increment would be 4, and the resulting phase sequence is just ABC repeating. And finally, here are some examples of uh, winding sequences and how they rotate. If you keep track of the steps, you'll see it takes 6 steps to move 2 poles. This is essentially what we designed for, to make one electric rotation move one pole pair, so the motor with more poles turns slower, given the same electrical frequency. Alright, thanks for watching, bye.